Today I'm going to talk about laughter. Laughter is one of the sweetest things that we have in life. And as adults, sometimes we go long periods without laughing. Look at young children when they're together. Teenagers, look at them. They laugh all the time. Laughter is medicine truly for the soul. Milton Burrow said this, that laughter is an instant vacation. And truly it is. In Proverbs 15, verse 13, it states this, A happy heart makes the face cheerful. Well, laughter is truly God's gift to us. One of the things that I teach often is to write down the funny things that have happened to you in your life. The times when you really laughed. Put them on three by five cards. Hopefully, over time, you'll have many of those cards. I have hundreds. And then when you need it, look through the cards. You only need a sentence or two to remind you. Pretty soon, you'll be laughing so hard because you'll remember and recall some of those times. And it will change your day. God intends for us to enjoy life. And yet sometimes, because of the inevitable stresses of daily life, laughter seems only a distant memory. Well, as adults, we have every reason to be cheerful and to be thankful. Because when we really look at what we're thankful for, our blessings overwhelm anything bad that's happening in life. Our blessings from God are beyond measure, if we have the focus to see them. So why do we trudge through life? Trudging is a learned exercise, and some of us have gotten very good at it. We have frowns on our faces, frowns in our hearts. Few things in life are more displeasing than the sight of a man or a woman grumpy and complaining about everything in sight. You see at least one of these people every day as you travel around your world, and as you see them, you realize they are truly living in hell instead of living in a right now heaven. There are a few things in life that uplift us really fast. And one of those things is laughter. And there is another thing that will uplift us. When we see others, a, a cheerful man or a cheerful woman smiling and laughing through life, it is contagious, my friend. And I pray that people, people can't get your presence off of them once you have been around, that you have uplifted the atmosphere by your very countenance, by your sense of humor. Today, as you go about your daily activities, approach life with a grin and a chuckle. After all, God created laughter for a reason. And so, I invite you today to take time to really laugh.